Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Siphon Filter. When we last left off, we made it to the silo access tunnels, and this level's not too bad. Quite a bit of fun, actually, um, if uh, the scenery is starting to get a little bit dull. Anyway, incoming from Leon. According to Amarov, the silo's entrance is down there somewhere. She says to follow the main tunnel. It dead ends at the silo elevator, but because of the fire above, some elevators may be offline. I'm picking up a frantic radio traffic from NATO command, but I still can't contact anyone within the agency. Yeah. Yep, this doesn't seem to be great, does it? Watch out down there, Gabe. The place will be swarming with Romer's men. And let's actually, you know, make sure we're using the right audio. Probably a good, good idea. Oh, hi. Straight off the bat. Start as you mean to go on. Yeah, this level's a doozy. It's pretty hectic. Uh, I guess we'll take the flak jacket. Plenty of armor and stuff around here. I think just about every enemy from now on is wearing flak jackets. In fact, I don't think there's any singular enemy. Actually, there's tossers like him in the front. <laughs> the grenade tossers. I'm pretty sure they're not wearing uh, armor, but I don't... No, they are. They are. I'm full of shit, as usual. Gabe, those lasers. Mara says the only way to shut them down is to cut the power to the whole complex. Well, if that's what Mara says, that is what we shall do. No running in my hallways, Chief. Sorry, but I'm going to have to stop you there. Okay, let's just keep pushing forwards. Now, we don't actually need to come down here, but this dude's going to throw grenades at us like they're going out of fashion. So, you know, he's a dick. Let's keep heading forwards. Now, the only reason there is to come down here is if you want a uh, armor shredding weapon. There it is, the K3G4. You can't actually see it. If you had your flashlight, you'd be able to see it, but I know it's there. So if I know it's there, you now know it's there. Anywho, let's keep going. Now, if we go back here somewhere, there's a little drop down. There's gonna be a lot of drop downs that we've got to deal with now as uh, Gaben. I don't like these drop downs. They're awful. Uh, they've led to large quantities of instant death, which means you have to replay over. <laughs> yeah, they're not great. They're really bad. But, you know, it was the PlayStation and, you know, it was a brave new time for interactive 3D entertainment. Now, one thing this game has given me through playing through it again after all these years is it's kind of interesting to come back to these older gems just so you can appreciate just how far we have come um, another tosser there apparently all of that ammo missed him somehow not sure how but hey let's not worry about such things okay Whoop. oh another grenade tosser Luckily, we're behind some cover there, otherwise he probably would have ended our day in a rather spectacular fashion. Alright, let's get up here. And up here. Oh, hi, I forgot about you. Yep, I did. Ow, that's my arsehole. Yep, yep, my arsehole is now rather loose. Oof, it stings. Luckily, I, I think he's got like a sniper rifle. And it's interesting just how, like, feeble the sniper rifles are in this game. Not when you use them, but certainly, apparently, when the enemies use them. They just don't seem to do a lot of damage, which is curious. Alright, what do we got here? Aha! We have a button to fondle. Apart from... Leon, <gasps> is there a power schematic for this place? There is no power to the service elevator or its activation switch. You have to reroute power to it. There should be another relay somewhere nearby. Bugger. That was nearly too easy, wasn't it? Well, no matter. Let's get up here on this box. Oh, we can't. Ah, this is the box we want. 
notice how that this box is, I think it's the same height. Uh, that one might be a little bit higher, but we want to jump up here and get ourselves a spicy weapon. Although, <laughs> man, do I love using the uh, the speed up because I'm going to sit there and watch us slowly crawl our asses across. Ain't happening, Chief. So, we've got ourselves a rather nice grenade launcher. Let's get rid of you. Pretty, nope, there's not another one there. Come on, Gaben. Aha! We see him. We see him creeping. He's creeping, but we're peeping. We got his ass. So, careful now. Careful, careful, careful. God, I hate falling off these things. Oof. We're good. We're good. Oh, hello. Didn't think you could get me there, fella. Son of a bitch. He creeping. He creeping. There's no point in creeping. Okay, that was really strange, but whatever. We capped his ass. Now, let's go find ourselves some kind of switch to fondle so we can get on out of here. Let's go up this rather questionable looking stack of boxes into this rather fancy looking red tunnel. I like it. I've been in a red tunnel once or twice myself. Nice. Okay. Checkpoint. If we get a checkpoint, we're going to drop a save. Yeah. <laughs> now, that grenade launcher that we just picked up is going to be instrumental for the next little bit. Come on. What do you mean no targets? Let's light his ass up. Now, the grenade launcher is so much better than actual throwing grenades. Not only does it fire, like, way, 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 way faster, it's got a much better range. And it's un believably lethal. And I thought we were going to die there as well. Okay, cool, cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. we got a spicy mofo coming at us. That's fine. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oof. All right, that could have gone better. I could have, you know, remembered that guy was there. Jeez. That, oof. okay. It could have gone bad. It didn't, but it could have. So, let's... Beep, 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 boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Let's beep the boop and move the heck out of here. We're going to keep that grenade launcher pretty tightly gripped. Surprise, motherfucker. Oof. Nothing left but bits. Unfortunately, um, there is no flak jacket to salvage. <laughs> as you'd imagine. But, you know, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Oof. Oh, there's always a survivor. Apart from when there isn't. All right, let's put that bad boy away for now. I think we've had our fun with the grenade launcher. And man, is the grenade launcher fun. Such a cool weapon. Just absolutely eviscerates just about everything. Cool. Let's keep this party wagon moving. Now, what we like. So we've got an elevator there, but we don't want to go through that elevator. I will show you something. I'm going to drop down a safety save here. If we go down here, uh, you're going to have a bad time. Gabe, watch out. Cave yep, in. there's a cave in. We can actually avoid it. <laughs> I didn't avoid it the first time. Um, in fact, I had a rather bad time. But uh, it doesn't seem like that actually does anything triggering that. It's just, uh, you know, a big load of noise and panic. And it's rather effective at panicking you as well. Rather effective. Ooh, you know what would have been good here? My grenade launcher. OK, 
a hell of a lot of health damage there. I've made it into the power room. Fine. I'm going to try to overload the generator. Be careful. I'm not sure what that will do to the power room. The whole place could blow. I don't have much choice. I'll tell you what that's going to do to the power room. Nothing good. Right. Let's beep all of these boops. And things just get progressively worse, as they do. Let's keep beeping those boops, Gabe. Eventually, something good's going to happen. I don't know what's happening. I'm assuming this is over-revving the, the, the generators. Or... I, I, I don't know. And that is that. When we last left off, uh, things went pretty badly, <laughs> in a manner of speaking. Uh, we apparently have blown the place to hell and all the power's gone off, so that's going to be fun. Um, spoiler, this mission is a penis. Anyway, so incoming from Leon. The entire power grid to the tunnels is now offline, so the laser fields should be gone. The silo has its own power supply, so you should still be able to access the mainframe computers and download Farcom's DNA sequencing data. You should have a clear line to the silo from here. If you can find a way out of that power room and Gabe, you're still outnumbered by Roman's men. Maybe you can use that blackout to your advantage. Yeah! Gabe! Gabe. Are you there? Gabe, are you alright? I'm here. It's okay. The power to the lasers is shut down. Now I just have to find a way out of here. Yeah, well, see, the problem with this is... <laughs> up here, it's nice and bright. It's pretty cool. We can see what we're doing. Yeah, down in the um, in the depths, not so much. Uh, this level's pretty savage. But that's okay. Gabe's on the case. And Gabe has a very rough idea what he's doing also this is like a pitch black level so you would think to yourself ah pitch black eh well that's a perfect opportunity to use our torch that we've been hoarding for you know ages well dear viewer that's not that wise why because the torch alerts enemies yeah so we finally have a perfect level to use the torch, but it's, yeah, really not wise. So whatever, we're gonna just drop down here to somewhat relative safety and grab ourselves a night vision rifle. And we're gonna be living and dying by this thing pretty much. You don't need to use it, but if you don't use it, you're gonna have a bad time. Now the best way to navigate this level is to use your radar. If you see an enemy, you need to get ready. That's basically all there is to this one. It's... yeah, yeah. Just keep moving forwards, kind of, and hope for the best. If we can pick these guys off... oh shit. If we can pick these guys off, we will. There's a couple of areas where it's a little bit cheeky, a little bit naughty. But that's fine. Gabe is probably uh, trained well for these uh, situations. Maybe. With Spanner going backwards and forwards. Ooh. Not quite sure how we detached his brainstem there. Pretty sure. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure that was a miss. But hey, I'm not. I'm not going to be arguing here. Now, this gentleman's going to charge us, so we need to shoot him quick. Otherwise, he's going to notice us. Like I say, it doesn't matter too much if you do get spotted, but their weapons are absolutely hyper lethal on this level. It's It doesn't pull any punches at all. And couple that with the fact that I think, from the top of my head, there's just one checkpoint. Which doesn't do you many favours either, because it's right at the start of the level. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Luckily, though, on the flip, there is plenty of armor to pick up. So if you do survive the exchange, you're right. Now, this is where the game 
kind of starts getting a little bit naughty because we've got these little drop downs. Now, that in itself isn't bad. But what makes it bad is you can't actually see. You can quite easily just run off that if you don't know what you're doing, straight to your death. Um, but, you know, we'll have to do the old sly drop down. If we drop down like that, we're fine. If we go down any other means, we're dead. And, uh, yeah, that's about as fun as it sounds. But, you know, there isn't actually that many stealth missions in this game, to be fair. Um, which is interesting, because I do remember, back along, I thought there were significantly more. This is also a bit of a tricky bit. You have to climb up a whole load of stuff here. And again, if you don't know what you're doing, because, you know, it's dark, <laughs> this is quite a cheeky little bastard bit. In fact, it is just hard in general to find the little points to grab. Uh, although I think you're safe to be honest, like if you want to whip out the torch, I think you're mostly safe. We've got two enemies coming at us here. You know what happens when there's two enemies? They get grenades. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about uh, the safety of using the grenade launcher in here. I suppose it's already collapsed, right? It's not going to collapse again, surely. Right, more sniper ammo for the night vision sniper rifle. Not sure why we can't just, you know, get ourselves a nice fancy pair of night vision goggles. I guess the Russians don't like those for reasons too efficient. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Now we can kind of have a wander down there, but there's nothing to look at. Luckily, we are very nearly out of this hellhole. Kind of. I think there's like 15 or so enemies on this level. Don't technically have to kill them all. There is a couple you can skip, but it it's it's iffy. Really iffy. Oh baby, a trio. Oh, you know what we do with trios around here? One blast for all of them. Oh, that's so satisfying. Now luckily, I'm pretty sure the end is directly ahead. It's gonna be someone that starts shooting us, but Nope, you didn't start shooting us. There is another guy there as well, but screw Leon, that guy. I found the elevator down to the silo. See if we have any Soviet blueprints online. I want to know where I'm going once I get in there. Our nine silos were comprised of three levels. There should be a launch computer on level one near the elevator. Copy. I'm on my way down. Not bad. Do you wish to save? Uh, yes. Uh, I think we'll stick save there. And now, from what I can understand, we're on the final level. So, I'm going to meet back up with you guys once I practice this one, just a little bit. So, to you in a sec. Incoming from Lian, you were right. The missile launch sequence has already begun and we have no way of stopping it. You will have to find the missile's self-destruct codes somewhere on the fuselage itself and enter them into the main launch computer. We can then detonate it in the upper atmosphere. The command computer mainframe room is also where you'll find the genetic codes for the siphon filter virus. <sighs> yeah, um, <laughs> this is a very short Leon, kind of sweet mission. I don't mission. think this is an abandoned silo. There's an R9 Devyaka sitting here ready to launch. Fagan was planning something big. Can you see the launch computer? It shows countdown in progress, and the access codes I have won't let me in. Damn, you won't be able to stop it from launching. You have to get its self-destruct codes and detonate it when it reaches the atmosphere. Where do I find the codes? There's a panel on the missile itself, near its base. Get down to level 3 before it launches. Once it's launched, you'll have to get to level 2 to trigger its detonation. Alright, we've got our mission. Okay, so this is where we really don't have any time to screw around. Because there is a timer 
<laughs> we can't see the timer, but there is a nasty timer ticking away. Eventually, if we're too slow, we'll hear a Russian female voice start counting down, and then we'll have 10 seconds <laughs> to accomplish this uh, this goal. And th that's really not a lot of time, guys. Okay. Yep, we're getting shot from every angle. Uh, yep, that certainly does happen. Let's try that again. Yeah, like I said, this bit is rough because you just don't have a lot of time at all. And I've probably already wasted way too much time there. But that's fine. Okay, man, as soon as we hear this, the voice start kind of counting down. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to have to go. We're going to have to go. It's kind of a interesting final level. There's so much panic involved, which is, in a way, it's fun. But at the same time, my god, is it stress-inducing. Alright, let's kill this guy. But I'm noticing the other guy has disappeared. Oh, there we go. There's the countdown. Markinson. Of course Markinson. I knew you would solve the puzzle eventually. I expect only the best from my man. Where is Romer? You're asking me? How long has Romer been working for you, Markinson? Since your mission to Costa Rica. When you discovered the connection between Romer's plantation and Fagan, I did some digging of my own through our monitor at the WHO. And decided that you wanted the virus for yourself. For the agency, actually. And the missile? The missile was Oof. my idea. Markinson came here to stop it, but he was too late, as are you. Who's the target, Romer? Does it matter? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I actually like the way the main bad guy is like, does it matter? He's not actually going to tell us the main target, which is cool. And we flunk that up. This bit is also incredibly tight. You have basically exactly the amount of time you need to hide not a second or microsecond longer kind of rough but yeah I like the way Mackinson just completely gets like annihilated and <laughs> just like shot down into the pit where he's now been fried for eternity and now this is where things get a little bit spicy eh Gaben because we have the launch codes but we have precious little time to actually use the launch codes Let's have a little look here. Let's go with... Let's take this out for a spin. Because we don't have time to mess around. So we need armor piercing. I'm frantic calls from NATO command. They're tracking the missile's launch. All European commands are being ordered to DEFCON You're done, son. If you don't get to the detonator on level 2 in time, we're looking at World War 3. <laughs> World War 3! Whatever are we going to do, guys? Probably all die. But that's... Fine. What's the worst that could happen? A slow radioactive death, I guess. That would be pretty awful, to be honest, but, you know. Right, let's get rid of these guards. Because these guards are butt nuggets. Along with these bloody scientists. Damn it. Git. Right, there we go. You're dumb. Who's next? Come on. There we go. Take your medicine, you bastard. Now, he didn't have the key, apparently. Which one of these sniveling little tow rags has the key? Come on. Give me the key. We're kind of on a timer here. There we go. Cheers, pal. Alright. We do need the key card to the store. Otherwise, well, <laughs> we kind of uh, shit out of luck. Come on. Oh, God. It's not going well for us, is it? Definitely not. Right, okay. Oof. Let's get our grenade launcher. Get rid of you two. Definitely don't need you two messing everything up right about now. Oof. Oh god. That's fine. 
That's fine. Everything is fine. No, don't, you fool. See, you can't reload here. Because if we push reload, he's going to try and climb. There we go. Ah, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Leon, really tense. I made it. I'm triggering the missile's detonator now. NATO spy sets are tracking it. There it goes. Thank God, Gabe, you've done it. <sighs> I'm downloading the virus information now. I'm ready for pickup. Don't you know when to quit, Logan? We'd have made a great team. I don't think so. I don't think so, you maggot. Now. To watch your partner die? Oof. What's really rough about this guy is he's going to throw God knows how many grenades at us. And on top of that, uh, he's impervious to our bullets. But we have gas grenades up here. Which uh, <laughs> is literally the only thing that can kill him. Now the good thing is, it literally takes one gas grenade. So we have five attempts to gas the bastard. Where is he? He's over there. That was not him. Right, let's lob one in there. That's his two goons gone. Oh, there he is. I'm still alive. Ooh. Oh, we killed each other. Oh, that was savage. Yeah, this guy's kind of a penis. How will it feel to watch your partner die and blow it? Well, I mean, I already watched my partner kind of die once. Although, she wasn't really dead, was she? She was just faking me out. Now, the reason I'm selecting the gas grenade from here is just because it's quicker. That's literally the only reason. Um, can we... Uh, oh, he's gone all the way up there. Now, the only trouble with this is we have precious few grenades. That wasn't him. Where is he? Come on, let's see that little beret. Come on, buddy. Don't be like this. Right, let's get rid of your goon over there. Don't I actually think I got rid of the goon. Oh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There he is. It's like right over there. Where is the bastard? Now, if we run out of gas grenades... Oh! We actually hit him. Yep, there we go, with the last one. <laughs> Logan! Logan! That's my name. First, we get the lab guy started on this disc and your vaccine. No, I mean all of this. What's happened here? Markinson's involvement with Fagan, Romer, their plans, the virus. What's it all mean? I don't know. With Markinson dead, I don't know if we'll ever know. Yeah, so this game kind of leaves a hell of a lot of unanswered questions. But hey, they made another one. And 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 I think that was it. Um, yeah. Well, that siphon filter. Does it still hold up in 2023? Uh, kind of. It's still fun to play. Uh, the controls are probably going to be your biggest enemy. I think visually the game's pretty nice. It's very basic. But this game does have a wicked soundtrack which uh, is actually probably one of its best features. Now, it was kind of an interesting uh, game. I know they kind of wanted to borrow a lot of things from GoldenEye and kind of like spy genre um, themes, and they kind of got it right, I guess. It didn't really feel like a stealthy game, um, but that's kind of the, what they were going for, kind of like a 007 James Bond sort of theme. 
Um, and this game actually was only, I think it was made by 13 people. And it was made by a, a group of people that didn't really have any uh, experience in creating a 3D third person game at the time. So, you know, considering this came out in what, 1999? I think they did a pretty good job with the limited hardware. The story was fine. Um, you know, the the enemies and stuff are, are fairly generic. I think they did come up with some interesting ideas. You know, the uh, first person aiming mechanic, the fact that a headshot is a headshot outside of two people in the game, the final boss, and uh, the French dude with the flamethrower. Can't headshot those. Everybody else in the game, you can basically headshot. Uh, you can also get headshot as well, obviously. Well done, my dear. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just got like stashes of the virus, you know, for reasons, I guess, probably personal supply, you know. Um, yeah, there we go. Siphon filter. It holds up reasonably well. I think it's probably worth a playthrough if you're looking for an old school third person action game. It is frustrating at times. It has uh, wicked difficulty spikes that are just really, really inconsistent. And I think the, um, the trademark taser is kind of underutilized in this game, quite badly actually, because as soon as you start fighting enemies with flak jackets, which happens pretty early, it's kind of rendered obsolete. I think the taser should be able to fry anybody. But obviously the drawback of the taser uh, is that it takes so long to actually kill people. But yeah. Yeah, would have liked to have seen that used a little bit more. But that's Siphon Filter. Uh, we probably will be taking a look uh, at the other games down the line because I'm really uh, curious to see this series progress. I know I played... I definitely did play a little bit of the second game. Um, possibly the whole thing. I can't remember. Um, but apart from that, I mean, I did play a tiny little snippet of one of the PlayStation 2 games for a friend uh, to get a save file. Uh, but I think that was only the training mission. So, yes, very interested in this series. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.